Hi, I'm Trisha from Club Scrap, and I thought today would be a great day to take a look at what's inside the March 2015 Club Scrap Deluxe Kit. Let's take a peek. So when you get your box, you'll open it up, and really the centerpiece of every Club Scrap collection is our original paper pack. So it comes in this nice little plastic bag, just in case postman leaves it outside in the rain, your paper will still be just fine. And 26 sheets of paper we have here, a tan print, always two, two of each. A white print on this eight and a half by eleven. This beautiful aqua color and a nice texture on this uh, almost like a charcoal black. Those are the eight and a half by elevens, and then the twelve by twelves include um, this white print. It's actually a laid finish, so it has a really neat lineal texture to it. And here we have a tan print with some uh, text, sort of a tone on tone, with some neat retro shapes. And then of course you can't have a print without this. This fun boomerang style on the aqua. And then um, from the 12 by 12, I love the color of red we've included in this kit. It's, it's really a nice cherry red, bright, vibrant color. And then from the planes, because in addition to the prints, we need some foundational pieces. We've got the aqua, the white plane, some of that cherry red, and then the tan color and again that nice textured charcoal black. Okay, so in, in addition to the papers, um, if you choose to receive a kit with what we call the embellishment pack, um, this will also be inside. Let's see what we have in here. Can't seem to get my hands on enough washi tape. I absolutely adore this uh, particular roll. It's got a nice bright yellow with white polka dots and then the white polka dots underneath uh, take on the color whatever paper you place this on. A gorgeous, gorgeous fiber collection this month. I'm, I'm in love with these fibers. This grosgrain uh, diamond print, this really beautiful deeper tone of the aqua, and then we have this black, kind of wide but yet very soft, pliable, crinkly ribbon, and then a narrow red grosgrain, which works perfectly for accenting your pages. I used almost all of it on the uh, completed pages this month. Then we have our pre-cut four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mats in cherry red, aqua, tan, and charcoal black. And then of course our printed cut apart. So we have a sheet of white 12 by 12 and aqua. And all of that comes together to make uh, 14 beautiful pages. But in addition, you have a few goodies to quick peek at. Um, we have a package of these neat printed bags. There are four of them, and you'll see later how I incorporated them into the completed pages. We have this adorable Kit Kat clock overlay stencil, and then a five pack of uh, flattened bottle caps. And everybody's package of this will be different. They're all vintage toppers and they're really adorable. They'll work with whatever you happen to have. Now that's the kit with the embellishment pack and goodies and paper. You can also have the option to get what we call the greetings to go. This makes 12 cards and it's really an all-inclusive type of a thing now. It used to be you'd have to stamp on things to finish the cards up, but we've got the envelopes and then um, this package of absolutely adorable buttons. Uh, we have the smaller red ones and then the larger decorative ones. Uh, we have a pair of eyeballs because, you know, Every 50s kit needs a pair of eyeballs. It's for that Kit Kat clock. You're going to have fun with those. And then the ribbon, of course. Again, the organza with the dots. And then the candy stripe baker's twine. So, so sweet. And this huge mass pile of panels and card bases. Um, with the help of the instructions that are included as a download, you can figure out how to turn all of these into your cards. And then here are the cut aparts, especially the little Kit Kat clock guy. Um, these cut aparts will be trimmed, they will fit perfectly onto the panels we've included, and you'll be able to finish, completely finish, all of your cards with the contents of this Greetings To Go kit. If you do happen to be a stamper, no worries, we've got you covered. We have these adorable sheets here, the Art Nouveau, four and a quarter by five and a half size, and the Greetings sheet. So these are great for making cards with your 50s themed materials. The larger sheets include what we call the borders and backgrounds. This has been really popular already this month with the Kit Kat clock and the cupcake stamp. So much fun on that sheet. And then finally, our collection sheet. This, um, All of these sheets of stamps can be included in your monthly collections. Finally, we have something we call H-Pops, or a half pound of paper. So if you just like to have a nice sampling of the end cuts of paper from the collection, um, you can subscribe to receive the, the H-Pops automatically included in your month every in every kit.
Uh, let's take a look at the finished cards and layout. Okay, so from the cards in the Greetings to Go pack, um, the smallest card, which is a four bar size, I believe, um, has these clever cut aparts where you can just scissor cut along the right edge of an image, and then this panel fits onto the narrow flap of the card. And so you'll make four of these. They're all different and embellished in a little bit different ways. Here's that sweet little cupcake image, the polka dotted ribbon, and then our Kit Kat clock with the googly eyes. Love him. Okay, and then um, our standard A2 size. Um, again, very, very simple assembly involved here. I give some basic assembly tips in the downloadable instruction file, but um, really easy to work with. Here I've added some of the fiber to the button. I did thread it onto a needle to get it through the holes more easily. I did the same thing here on this card as well with a set of three buttons and just attached them with some glue dots. And then on this uh, final size, um, this is an A6, I believe. Um, the cut apart just rounded the corners and that adds a little bit of retro flair along with, well, you know, who can resist the glitter glue, right? <laughs> um, this is so cute. Shake it up. And um, here, the cut apart actually helps you subdivide all of the expressions in this quote. I adhered them to the card base and then stapled with some staples. And then finally, one last little happy birthday card. So there's a dozen greetings to go cards. Let's take a look at those layouts. Here you go. All right, so here are the 14 pages we can look at created with just the paper pack and the embellishment pack together with the goodies included in the kit. Um, one of the things I like to do is allow the print to pop into the foreground by simply making a cut with a craft knife so I can slide an element underneath the base paper. That's what I did right here. Love the washi tape and the touch of the flattened bottle cap embellishment. And again, everybody's will be different. I just loved this particular one here. And then the other half of this page combo with some more washi tape, cut of parts, and my little under the photo mat trick over here. Um, as I mentioned before, the, the bags that are printed, actually I cut them along the, the bottom and side seam to open and flatten them out and use them as kind of a another layering element on the pages. So I love how that worked out. And um, here's that eight and a half by 11 white print, just kind of wallpapered into the background. And on this one, I this this print is basically what my grandmother had in her wallpaper in her kitchen when I was growing up. So this is fond memories of grandma. I'm gonna see if I can dig up a few pictures of her and the times we spent uh, in her kitchen baking. And then here's the other half of that layout. That's again, the washi tape. And here's the left side of the next one, incorporating that print again with the coordinating cut apart, more washi tape, and the right half of it. Now this is kind of a neat little trick. Um, the ribbon is wrapped around this entire little cut apart here, and then it's also stretched across the page and then taped at the back. So when I assembled the layout, I just aligned the cut apart with the ribbon going on in the background, something you might not be able to see in a scan or an image of this layout. And then here is that um, beautiful black ribbon. It's really hard to describe, so you just have to get the kit and then see for yourself. Um, along with um, the nested cut aparts here, anchoring those three vertical photo mats. And on the other half, once again, one of the printed bags makes a wonderful little addition, plus that adorable Kit Kat clock overlay stencil. Be sure to tune in on the blog regularly to find out how we're gonna use him a lot more this month. Um, here's a nice aqua toned with the grays and the blacks. I love how this came together. There's that grow grain ribbon used along with one of the flattened bottle cap embellishments. The other half of that layout with the cut apart of the Kit Kat. Might want to get some more googly eyes for him. And then finally one last layout with the printed bag. Some of that really beautiful satin ribbon. And then just, you know, I did some math here and realized that I could subdivide this into these sweet little spots and then still add a, this isn't actually not ribbon, it's paper, um, to kind of evenly space everything from top to bottom. So I like that feature of this last page. Well, there you have it, Club Scraps 50s Kitchen Collection for March of 2015. If you're not already a member, it's not too late to join us. Give us a call at 888-634-9100 or email us at info at clubscrap.com for more information. We'd be happy to help give you more information that you need to pick the right club for you. We'll see you next time.